Okay, guys. Um, I kind of just wanted to get on here and make a video because it's kind of been heavy on my heart that the month of January is like an all-time high for suicides. And I know I saw an article about uh, it's an all-time high for veterans, but I've been seeing it not just in veterans, but um, everywhere. I keep hearing about people killing themselves. It's just crazy. And... I want to say something, it, it's just a sad thing in general, but I want to say something in regards to how we interact with each other online, on the internet, in Facebook, you know, under a Facebook post, in a chat room, where whatever you may be participating in. How are we interacting with others who don't agree with our beliefs, who don't agree with something that we have an opinion about. How are we interacting with these people? Now, I know I went through a point several years ago where I just wanted to debate all the time. Like I had an opinion on everything. I was worried about people not knowing the truth. Like I wanted people to know the truth and I thought I knew the truth and you know, I didn't realize that life is a process, life is growth, you're going to change your mind a lot of times in life. And if you don't change your mind, you stay stagnant and you don't grow and you live the same day every day for the rest of your life. So I was at a point where I, I didn't understand that um, I didn't know it all and that you'll never know it all. A wise man knows he knows nothing because there's so, it's an infinite amount. But this is the thing. You don't know everything, but you have access to it within yourself. But you can't even gain that access and that um, spiritual relationship with source, with the source of everything, unless you learn how to be empathetic, unless you learn how to interact with others in a way that is not toxic. Because when you're going back and forth with somebody, and, and I understand healthy debate is a great thing in terms of solving problems in the world and trying to come to resolutions about things. But there's a difference between a healthy debate and leaving a conversation or leaving a exchange online and feeling these feelings within our bodies that, that don't resonate, like that aren't bringing you up, that aren't of, for your highest good. If you're in a conversation or a debate, it becomes unhealthy when you're stressed out or you're sitting there for an hour going back and forth with somebody about something. Like, it doesn't matter if you agree. What matters is that you can agree to disagree and then walk away in love and not in division. That is why we're, we are so divided. They want us to be divided. And what people don't understand, it's not about picking a side. It's not about being part of a movement or a group because we're all one. Everybody is one. You can't branch off into groups. That's not how the universe works. And if you branch off and divide and this, you have your opinions and they have their opinions and everybody, if you don't share the same opinions and you're not on the same side, so you can't be a part of this. It's ridiculous. We are all one. And that's why we're walking around so blindly thinking that we have to choose a side or we have to be a part of a group. And it doesn't feel good to be bashing against people that we're supposed to be in unity with. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how harshly you can view somebody's opinion or how much they have hatred towards you. It will never serve you to do that back to them. It will never serve you to throw hate back to them. Or just because they don't like you, you have to not like them. No, the only thing that, the only type of energy that will overcome that is love and compassion and empathy and trying to put yourself in somebody else's shoes, understanding like the perspective of everything and understanding that if somebody is doing something that you feel is terrible or having an opinion that you think is terrible, it's because of their own inner demons and things that they're battling internally. That's why when somebody does something wrong, the worst thing you can do is just say, okay, let's give them the death sentence. Let's just, because that's not helping anyone or anything. That's not. 
solving any problems. Like, why don't we have, uh, we, uh, honestly, I think all schools should have like, a, maybe like a class period or something once a week where a child can sit and have a healthy conversation with an adult. So we know, like, if something's going wrong in a child's life and they need a, like some type of support or they have it. And even if there's nothing crazy going on in, in, in their life, they still have support. They still have someone to talk to. Why is this not valued? Why is this not valued? Why is a trigonometry class more important than the emotional health of our children? There's a lot of things that we could implement in our culture that would help with people being more communicative, being more compassionate being able to sit and have and have like when you have a conversation face to face it is a hundred percent different than hiding behind a screen and just going off because honestly think about it if you've never been in an argument with somebody and you're beefing so hard and this person's telling you said this and this person's saying you said that and their friends are all telling you what the whole story is but you never actually had that conversation with the person that you're fighting with and then all this, and then eventually you come face to face and you have the conversation and everything de-escalates. Like all of a sudden you can talk through it and everything's fine. It's because you're feeling their energy. They're feeling your energy. Like you're both anxious. You're both putting your, you can relate to each other because you're in each other's shoes. So now you want to come together and, and find a more peaceful resolution because you're sitting there feeling each other's energy in that experience. <clears throat> My point is, is that it's so easy to just not respond. Just don't, if somebody is coming at you online or some, you shared an opinion of yours and somebody's coming at you, the best thing you could do is just walk away from it. Delete the message. Walk away. Just don't respond. The more you go back and forth, the more anxiety and the more toxic energy you're bringing into yourself. And you think you're going to make yourself feel better because you had this point to say and that point to say and whatever. It's not going to make you feel better. It's not going to make you feel better. It's okay if someone doesn't agree with you. They're at a different stage in their spiritual development than you are. And they're seeing life in a different perspective than you are because they've gone through different things. And you never, at the end of the day, know what somebody else is going through ever. And that is what brings this full circle when you're sitting and debating people online, you really don't know what they're going through in their life. You really don't know how much you messed up their day. You really don't know what emotional state they are in their lives. And if they're as fragile as one of these like amazing people that just ousted themselves because they feel that shitty in life, or they're going through whatever emotionally in life, you could be the straw that breaks the camel's back on somebody because you're going in on them on online. You just never know what somebody's going through. So the response is always compassion because you don't know. And at the end of the day, we're all one. And you don't want to make somebody feel that way just as much as like they shouldn't want to make you feel that way. It's insane how much we think it's okay to disrespect each other because it's not about choosing a team. It's about mutual respect. It is about mutual respect. And respect is what we need to be um, striving for. And dignity. Integrity. Like, do you feel a sense of integrity by what you're putting out online or what you're saying to others through a text? My main focus in this video is about, like, hiding behind a screen and, and throwing your emotions at people. That you don't understand how you affect other people. Even if it seems like some innocent de political debate or innocent debate on what diet somebody's choosing, it's always something so stupid. And it's not worth that negative, toxic energy that you put into yourself and that person puts into themselves. Because at the end of the day, we create our own realities and you have a choice in every moment to perceive a situation or choose to react to a situation in either a positive way that serves you or a negative way that doesn't serve you. And the more you push to the positive, the more momentum will build in that direction. The more you push to the negative and gossip and do all those types of things, the more you'll push in the negative direction. It's momentum in one way or the other way. And you're making a choice as to how you're going to create your reality, how you perceive things. 
So now I'm over 10 minutes and I didn't want to go over, but that's just the, the point that I wanted to make today. It is so important to have a sense of integrity in how you treat others, how you carry yourself in life, because you never know how you're affecting somebody. And at the end of the day, we're all one. So when you affect somebody in a negative way, you're affecting yourself. Just that whole you point your finger at somebody and you got three pointing back at you. What you put out is what you get back. So if you're debating somebody all day, then you're probably going to get attacked in one way or the other in your life because you're putting that energy out there. But I love you guys. I hope, um, I hope everybody thinks twice before they just start attacking somebody or debating somebody or going back and forth with somebody online because it really is just as simple as walking away from it or deleting a message or it's that simple. It really is. And trust me, you will walk away, you can go grab a bag of popcorn and watch a movie and pretend it never happened and not hold on to toxic energy and not want to keep going back and forth and, and putting that back into your life or anyone else's. All right. Love you guys.